There were the pesky uninvited guests wreaking havoc on the Garden State this summer. Although small in size, the invasive and crop-destroying spotted lanternfly has proven to be a force to be reckoned with. Just ask homeowner Luis Bo. I try uh, vinegar, you know, poison on it, it, but they seem to not be dying. The persistent bugs have taken up residency on a fence along the side of his Nutley home. Last year we saw just a few. And this year, it's like thousands in there. I mean, it's all over. The plant hopping bug, which originated in China and was first spotted in Pennsylvania back in 2014, has surfaced in 11 states and New Jersey now feeling the brunt of it. A map from the state's Department of Agriculture shows just how dire the situation is. The blue indicates an active infestation, which, as you can see, covers every corner of the state for the exception of Cape May County. Plants, trees, crops, these insects are destroying everything in their path. State officials now on high alert. Where we're seeing the greatest impact is to our farmers, specifically our wine grape growers. According to Dr. Ann Nielsen, an associate professor in entomology at Rutgers University, while they are hard to get rid of, there are a few homemade solutions that can combat this nuisance. You know, a 1% soap solution actually works quite well if you can spray it into the trees. Or you can call the crew over at Superb Pest Control. The Woodbridge based company has been inundated with service calls from clients throughout Essex, Middlesex, and Union counties, all asking to help fight back against the lantern fly. It now accounts for a bulk of their business. Their approach using a two step technique involving a spray and fog packed with an active ingredient that doesn't harm plants, they say it sends these bugs running. Most yards have at least 200 nymphs in it at, at one time. And the problem here is that they're not paying taxes. We're paying taxes.